Okay, welcome to play through The Walking Dead. This is episode number five. And if you have not watched any of their episodes, I implore you to do so. This is a fantastically written game. The voice acting is impeccable as well. And uh, we're probably going to see a recap of what's happened so far as I load up episode five. Here we go. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey. There were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. Clementine! And if anything happens to Clementine, I am going to lose it. Let's find out. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is. Do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping league. Then what is it? A rescue. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. I did show the bite. The group this knows. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, gosh. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Okay, why don't I use the stair? Just some surgical supplies. Man. Uh, ok, 
Okay. I wish I could run! Just some surgical supplies. Could cut off my own arm. No, it's probably too late. This isn't gonna help. Nothing through here. Okay. Hey! We'll have time to chit chat later. I should keep looking for a way out. Yeah, as quick as you can. Start to open it. Any trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know. Can't those things let up for a fucking minute? That'd be too easy, huh? Rib spreaders. I'll have Crank these that. doors open in two seconds. Crank it. Crank it. Any better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. I'm awake! Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still got to do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> if you take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? Oh, gosh. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. Whoa, man. Don't get too high, okay? Just Whoa. get through the thinnest part you think is best. Mm. I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look. You're ah! God! Ah! Try to stay still! Ah! Ah! Oh, God! I know! Jeez. Mm. Ah! to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. 
Do you think you'll be able to travel? Ooh. You lost some blood. Yeah. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I'm gonna bleed on anyone. Thank God the door held. <laughs> Jeez, man. Jeez. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. Cut off the arm in time. Stop the infection. No help. Oh my gosh. Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? Seems like it, but that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. What about the train? Maybe we can wait for an opening. I don't know. We could be waiting a long time. We're probably just going to have to pick our time and go. The longer we're up here, the further Clementine could be getting from us. We should probably start back at the mansion then, right? Which way is that? It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Sounds good. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. Omid's right. If you see yourself getting woozy or, you know, if it didn't work, just take it easy. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. Okay... Hospital must have run out of doctors. Some poor bastard took a spill. Uh, it's an extension ladder. It is an extension ladder. Maybe we could use it to cross the rooftop. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Uh, See anything? There's a fire escape here. 
And that's about it. There is a fire escape and plenty of zombies. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. We need to get off this roof. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. I'll make sure that doesn't happen as well as I can. Thanks. I including me? Getting bitten's not that bad. Really? No. It's a death sentence. It's horrible. Huh. I try not to worry about it. Oh. Alright, let's go back. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wasn't wandering the streets down there. Georgia. Not going back in there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. It's worth a shot, my one-armed friend. Let's see. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back. Jump! With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there, uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. I get the ladder. Thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Yeah, we got the sleep. It's so weird just to have one arm. It'd suck. Yeah, I pick up the ladder. You need a hand with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, 
It should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Somebody hold the ladder steady, at least. Maybe we should have someone more able-bodied doing that. You sure you're up for it, Lee? Say that again and you're gonna find out. Fair enough. So one step at a time, man. One step at a time. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Ten Holy points. shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Well... It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! Few solid rings of this, and there'll be thousands down below. Well, looks like my bell has rung. Let's do it. way tons of them jesus now get back here well, easier said than done lady i think i have to jump there's no way back fuck be careful you got this you got this motherfucker Come on, Lee, make it. Yes! Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> nice. They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon! He didn't have Clem! So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck! Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh, I thought it might save my life. I was lucky to get bit down on the wrist, far from anything important. But who knows? <sighs> Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. 
Don't get fucking <laughs> smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Careful, guys! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben. Um... Oh, shit. Here they come. In the house. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omid. What is it? Front doors! Ah. Oh! Oh! Dad! Dad! Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Yes! Yes! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Got it. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Bring it! Bring it! Oh, come on. I'm out. I'm out. 
Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening! Up! No! Oh my gosh. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm okay. Don't... What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. Okay. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Stop, Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. Yeah. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. Go through walls, bro. Three months digging through. <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is it really <laughs> possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Whew.
I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. Never almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just... Wait! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find your family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista, we could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah, of course. What about him? What are you two doing? He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. Yeah, I feel bad for him too. He loses shit like that often? No, that was a first. Good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him though, right? Well, seems like he got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. Alright. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. <laughs> you want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, <laughs> do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. Take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. Take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> Does God tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Grab the gun. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Okay. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Okay. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Uh, no. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. You still with us, Bid? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. The jump. Boop. Yeah, let the yeah, let the guy with one arm go first. He's Ta-da! K. 
Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Um, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! Shh! Quiet, Ben! Or they'll be on top of us! Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh. Oh. He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. I can be super quiet. Fuck! Fuck! Oh god, don't let them get to me! There's no time. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back! She needs you, Lee! Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get bit and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. Katja wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, yeah. Ken! Ah, God damn it! What happened? I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end.
We should go. Right behind you. Ah, and then there's only three. <sighs> Do you want to talk? We need to stay focused on what we're doing. I know we can't just take a minute, but you're not a machine. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take off. I'm this. starting to look pale. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean what we gotta do. Fuck. Be careful across here. Hey, Captain Obvious. Jeez, man. This, if anything could get any worse... Oof. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. That's a thing to say. I... Uh, I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Cobb imports. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted bag and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Oh, man. Just go nice and slow. Thank you, Omid. Really appreciate it. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Oh! oh. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. <laughs> There's not a ton of options. What are you doing? Shut up, Omid. Lee!
dude. Dude. No way. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. 
The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Yes! Die, you son of a bitch.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Sure, there's no extra bullets or anything around here coming down. Time to play doctor. Oh no. <laughs> oh.
It's like they're dancing. We'll 
figure it all out. Don't worry. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Who is it? You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. My parents, 
It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can.
stand. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill. Meet me where the snow melt blows. It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again. Skip. Man, oh. wow, man. Ah, uh, uh. <sighs> what do you say? What do you say after playing such a heart wrenching game? 
I, you know, I, I had a feeling this was what was going to have to happen since he got bit in the last episode. And, uh, you know, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't have Clementine shoot Lee. It just seemed it was too much. Maybe it would have been better for her to have closure. If it would have allowed her to focus, to stay alive more, knowing that Lee was gone and she wouldn't think of maybe there's a cure somewhere that could help him, but also save the bullet for when she's really in danger and also save the noise. Wow. Uh, just phenomenal, phenomenal story writing. And the engagement that you have in these characters is so enthralling. They do a really good job of enhancing uh, that experience. Because there's not much gameplay to these games. It's all about the story. Even in that uh, scene where you had the meat cleaver and he took down that one zombie that was actually a cancer patient from the previous episode. But how those guys screwed our group over by stealing that boat. Wow, it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, Lee and Clem are better than Rick and Carl. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Lily from this video game series is the same Lily in the comic books. And close your ears for spoilers uh, the next 15 seconds. But it's the same Lily that shoots Lori when she's trying to run from the prison. I haven't read the comic books. I've just said I've gone kind of up to where. They're out in the TV series uh, and seeing similarities and differences. And Lily is the girl that shoots uh, Lori and kills her. And Lori falls on her baby and crushes the baby and the baby dies. That's the same Lily uh, in the episode. I really liked how I started to like Carly in the game. And then when Lily pulled out the gun and shot her. And there was nothing I could do about it. I, mean, I like alt-tabbed, control deleted the game and went back to see if there's something else I could do. And there wasn't. And when you have your audience want to physically stop playing the game, physically turn off their computer because of the choice that just happened, what just unfolded in front of them, a character dies, and they're like, no way, no way that can happen. There has to be another way. And then you realize you can't save them. That's how to tell a story. That's how to tell a story. But damn, this is a depressing story. Uh, if you, I do watch the show. I watched last week's episode, which had a ray of hope, just a glimmer of hope that the group needed at the very end. I was completely taken back by it. And I look forward to seeing what's going to happen. I don't. I almost thought that was going to be Rick and Shane, where <laughs> they kill each other with knives. Uh, but they did it at night in the television show, and and that was two people during the day. But I think what they were trying to highlight is that they were two people walking as regular people, and one turned to talk to the other. But can you imagine a little girl, nine years old, with a gun, and that's it, walking through the fields? That's the apocalypse. Okay, well, GSL, or GSTL will be starting here pretty soon, guys. I invite you guys to watch that. Thanks for watching me play The Walking Dead Episode 5. And I look forward to seeing what Telltale's going to do for the next season of the video game and also what's going to unfold in the actual TV show. See you guys next time.